Hello and welcome back to more Harry Potter Depeos Part 2. My name's Zeppelin G993 and it's fair to say that this is it. The big one, the big moment. It's all or nothing now, basically. We're finally going to kick Voldemort's gnarly, probably quite horrible butt. That's, a, that's the last thing I'm going to think about, actually. I don't want to think about Voldemort's butt right now. Basically, throwing us straight into the bottle. The, the bottle? The bottle? The battle. Right behind us here is the first collectible, which is very important we get, because otherwise, you know... What's the point in fighting Voldemort if we we'll get collectibles, you know? And even he'll probably be like, Harry! Harry, my main man, you missed a collectible! Let's go back there and take care of it! He'll be like, why? Disappointed, Voldemort? Really? We're doing our best, and then, oh my good lord, Harry's a ghost! No, he's not. He's, he's Adamate. He's Adamate. And then over here to the right is another collectible! That one, Lord Voldemort! Oh! Who else, really? Who else? But really, this is a straightforward throw as many crazy spells you've got at him. Do this four times, you're just sort of flying around this area here. Over how he goes again. You can operate as well if you want to, but you can't do as vast difference as that. Oh my good. Harry's fear. We can't trust Harry's fear, can we? Blimey now, Harry, you and your fear. You saw it out. And then, rah, that's Voldemort's sort of tactic. I'm going to yell at him, and maybe that will scare him enough to stop him for a minute. Yes, Harry, that's the attitude we want. And then, oh my good lord, last collectible. Music, combat. There we go, new good character, new bad character. The final move track as well. Almost there. Where is he? Right at the back. And really? Can't even stand his ground? And you think, oh no, it's all going up. It's all going wrong now. But actually, that is it. We're so, so close to finishing this. Why do you live? Because I have something worth living for. This is no time to have a domestic with Voldemort, Harry. Let's end this the way we started it. Together. Really, <laughs> Harry? <laughs> Throwing yourself off the building. I feel that's a little bit detrimental to the whole, you know, plan of action. It's useless to you. There they are, just in... I've honestly won. Can't do anything right. Oh my god, look behind you. Giant snake alert! Giant evil snake, oh my good lord, Neville's got a sword. What a day at Hogwarts, eh? <laughs> it's almost boring to go back to lessons after this. Oh, fuck, here we go, this is it. Oh, this is so close. Spell, big ball of power. Oh god, now it's controllable. Keep the beam focused on Voldemort to suppress him. So it goes up a little bit, and basically what you want to do is you want to sort of lower it. Keep it focused on Voldemort, so sort of aim for where he is, basically. Aim for his face. And basically it will then sort of make its way back towards him. Red power from Harry will suppress the green Voldemort. It will do this twice. You think it'd be three times, you know, sort of rule of three, quite good for boss fights in general. And, you, and maybe it would start further towards Harry after Voldemort's sort of rage section. This is it though, this is nearly it, this is it, this is it. Come on. Come on, that's it! And there we go. Romeo done. Voldemort is finally done for. He's down and out for the count. Short level, short and sweet. But that's it. He's defeated the Dark Lord. It's another day for Harry Potter, really. Not exactly leaving the place better than we found it, are we? Oh, Isn't you've got it? to have a joke, haven't you? Honestly, I've all this. When Voldemort killed Snape, 
He thought the wand would become his, but it never belonged to Snape. It was Draco who disarmed Dumbledore. From then on, the wand answered to him, until I disarmed Draco. But that means... It answers Crazy to Crazy logic. What do you reckon we should do with it? We? Hang about one, it's Harry's wand dear. you know. Stop getting power hungry. <laughs> there you go, just throws it away. Useless bit of wood, stupid stick. And there we go. Hogwarts as we know it, there's absolutely loads to clear up now. It's like, oh, all this mess here. Honestly, Voldemort wasn't tidy, was he? Absolute slob. Like one of my old housemates. Anyway, Come on, Albus. here we go. James is already on board. Oh, this is so Lee, cringe. <laughs> I told you, no one gets to go to Hogwarts until they are of age. That's it, Lee. Does it, um, Ginny, just rub it in. It's not like Alphonse's got a proper beer belly. <laughs> Hopefully their time at Hogwarts will be less eventful now. Oh yes, Harry. You have to have a joke, don't you? And that's it. Farewell. Auf Zen. Bon voyage. Au revoir. Whatever you want to call it. So that's it. Jeez Louise. The game is over. Not just the game, the whole... That's the end of the series, isn't it, really? Something that I started doing... God knows how many years ago. I finally finished. After all this time. Should have finished it a long, long time before now. But gee, it's been a hell of a ride. Um, yeah. If you stuck with me this all this time, thank you. You have an incredible amount of patience, all I'll say. Um, apart from that, it's it's really crazy. I mean, this game. Just thinking about some of the things you guys have been saying. I think it was Sierra Franks who was saying that. Like, when I said about how Ginny not being able to operate. I was saying that's the game's fault. Actually, you're right, Sierra, it's actually because she's under 17. Although I suppose she could have turned 17 during the year. You think about that, you know, because they learn in his sixth year, don't they? But I don't know, I, I just attribute it to the game being difficult and making you do something because they, you know, oh, you can only do this at a certain time because the game says so. Which is so often the case in video games, you know. So infuriating. I mean... Yeah, this game I personally prefer it to Deathly Hallows Part 1. I think different characters gives a bit more variety. Um, the spell system works a little bit better as well. Um, and also because it's at Hogwarts as well, which makes up a lot for it, I think, really. Yeah. And also I think it was um, MDB saying about the Crucio curse and just how that's really bad in this game. Not bad because it's a bad spell, like, you know, because of the pain, but because of how it's performed and the actions, the effects it has. Yeah, I think this game just these two games just take the spells and sort of manipulate the spells to do what they want them to do. But that was sort of also in the earlier games. Think about Expelliarmus, which is meant to disarm a wizard. Remember in like, a, like game three, Prison of Azkaban, which is probably one of the best games in the series. Like that was used as like a shield charm, which is obviously not what it is. That's Protego, you know, common wizard knowledge. Uh, but that's just how the game goes sometimes, isn't it? It's just sort of. It takes creative licensing, as it were. I'll just I'll just change a few things here and there, just to give it more variety in there. And Vanshi BG also mentioned maybe me doing a re another version of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PS1, like in better quality. It's an idea, certainly. I mean, obviously, it's now down to you guys as to what you want me to continue doing with this series, because that's come to an end. I do intend to do the PC games, just to get my laptop at the right preferences. Obviously had a few issues with it. Um, also, I like the idea of doing a quick speed run of the games, maybe. Just going through them as fast as I can without getting any collectibles. Maybe doing that with starting at the PS1 version of Hospice Stone, which is still one of my favourites because it's just, you know, more of a nostalgia. Um, so that could be an idea. Just post your ideas below as to what you, yeah, what you'd like to see more of on this channel. Like, what, what would you like to see next, basically? It'd be great to hear from you because It'd be great to have some ideas from you as to where you, what you want to see. Because, you know, obviously, I love posting stuff, but I want you guys to enjoy it as well, you know, really. Anyway, I think we've enjoyed enough credits. Let's enjoy... I'll be the best bit of the whole game. This is the best surprise ever. When you get to the end, you're just like, wait, what? A new scene? And, oh my good lord. Oh, the nostalgia here. All the memories, all the feelings. Oh my god, I'm being sucked into a mirror. First day of school. Worst thing ever. That's it, Harry. 
obviously I've got this to experience, but this! Running away from a troll, an owl flying towards you, jumping across blocks and riding through trees, oh, that's what dreams are made of. The second game, which was pretty damn good, apart from those horrible loading screens, remember? It took forever. This game, remember, as well. I reckon they could do a new version, this maybe. Change it around a little bit, interesting to see. And then of course, after that, we have Prison of Azkaban, a fantastic game actually, that worked. That was one of my favourites, because the players had one Hermione, different spells, per characters. I got it right there. And then there was this monstrosity, which was, oh, isn't as bad as Deathly Harris Part 1 or 2. There were some really cool parts in it, like the flying with that, with the dragon, and that was a really good game as well. Another one of my favourites, Old of the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah Half-Blood Prince is sort of like a weaker version of Order of the Phoenix for me. I mean, Potions is pretty cool though, I'll give you that. Oh, what a journey it's been, that's all I'll say. The magic just keeps going on and on, and that is it. That is so worth finishing the game for, in my opinion. It's such a nice sort of shot of, this is what you've been through. Good on you. All the memories. Somewhere up in the sky, there's a giant Harry Potter sign still floating around. Um, yes. So that is it. We've got all the extras now. Apart from one, actually. What am I saying? Apart from one. And that one, we have to get... Basically, we can now... Once you finish the game properly, um, you can redo it in um, in expert mode. And you can go back to do, do, do all the chapters again without restarting the game. Um, so what we're going to do is we go to Streets of Hogsmeade. Streets of Hogsmeade. Better pronounce that right. <laughs> I'm just going to go, so you can do expert now if you want to. I'm just going to go on normal for now. Um, get a little summary of what's been going on. All I'm going to do very quickly is just get the last collectible. I think that'll be just, just to show you where it is. Maybe I'll do another little part just showing you where all, you know, get all the character models, but it's hardly essential stuff, isn't it, really? Apart from that, though, this is really, this is really it. I think I'll just show you where it is as well now. How you can now operate as well. If they, if they feel the need to put it on the screen let you know how you can operate so you can get that collectible which you really want to get. I'm so angry I'm going to operate everywhere. What other spells now as well so getting through this is much much easier. See what we've been through. These guys are just not a chance. Uh, bad so far. Who's here? All the fire, all the explosions. Let's keep making your way through. This feels like so crazy just doing this again Send after all the right. all the fun we had the hogs hogwarts. Ron, where on earth are you going? Really, someone else. Ah, oh, something back there. There we go. Come on, you guys. Open the gate, because for some reason I haven't got a basic first year spell. Oh, seriously, there are so many things that... I was thinking the other day of like just drawing up a, a proper like open world role playing style Harry Potter game. Just combining all the best bits and all the games, man. That'd be that'd be pretty good, I think. It's virtual death eaters. Oh no, Hermione, it's alright. I've played the rest of the game. We're gonna be alright. We'll be fine. I've got this under control. There we go. Oop. Where's the last one? Come on, let's be having you. Yeah. It. Oh, thank God for that. You know all right, on, yes, all right. Just calm down. Calm down. It's all okay. I've realised this now. The camera angle might have been the best bit in this video. <laughs> I might have gone a bit too high. But, well, I'll just have to. Whatever. whatever. You can't change the past. Right. Come on, guys. One well, now is not the <laughs> yeah exactly Hermione, you and me both sister. Let's just get through this as quickly as possible. I'm worried about Hogwarts. 
And it must be horrible with snakes head master. Yep, keep the casual conversation in light, guys. Keep it nice and cheerful. Look, let's have some fun. Can you clear the way? <laughs> Didn't take too long at all. Once done that, it's just a breeze. Right, in we go into here. Quickly up. I mean, does that break the bells? It does! Oh my good lord. And there we go. Final collectible. That's a snake. I wonder who he comes under as. Is he, a, is he a good guy or is he a bad guy? That'll be interesting to see. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm pretty certain you can't quit the game and just take... No, you can't. So you have to actually finish the level. But that's going to be it for now, though. Harry Potter Fairies Part 2, in my opinion, is Romeo done. Unless you want to see the characters and the, the, like the, the sort of rotating the characters things, which I doubt you're too fussed about. So yeah, that's the end of it. Hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. I certainly have. To, you know, as much as I can enjoy this game, really. And yeah, I'll see you next time on wherever that may be. See you then. Basically, the whole process is really straightforward, and apart from a slight pinch, it really doesn't hurt. And seriously, it requires no effort on your part. You simply turn up and they guide you through it. Piece of cake.